Hey everyone, I wanted to quickly share my thoughts on the Sunny Health and Fitness's power cage. It's a very good budget power cage. I bought it for $340 on Amazon and I've seen it on sale for as low as $270. It's a great price and that includes two days shipping. It arrived in a single box weighing about 150 pounds and was pretty easy to move to the garage. It was all neatly packaged with clear instructions. I built it with my kids and it only took about 30 to 40 minutes. Before I get into the review, I want to say this is the opinion of a casual lifter. I lift the weights three days a week, and on my non-lifting days, I'm practicing martial arts. I'm familiar with lifting weights, but getting big and buff isn't my main focus. On to the review. The power cage is well built. There's some side-to-side -side swaying, but not to the point I'd be worried to use it. The power cage has a max care weight of 1,000 pounds, so I'm confident that it'll hold up to what I'll use it for. I did notice that it's very easy to scratch the steel when I'm moving the J-cups around or when the knurling of the bar rubs against it. It's not something that bothers me because it's primarily affecting the look and not the structure of the rack. I'm 5'8", 250 pounds and I fit inside of it just fine. I mainly just bench and squat inside, but I can do other movements like pull-ups, dips, rack pulls, and even curl inside of the cage if I wanted to. While inside the cage, I can use the band pegs located at the bottom of the frame for accommodating resistance. I really like using bands while I lift. It's a cheap way to add accommodating resistance and it has also helped me break plateaus. One lift I can't do inside the cage is a standing overhead press. I don't have enough overhead clearance to press the weight over my head since it's only 82 inches tall. Seated overhead press inside the cage is fine, but I prefer doing them standing. This is the part of the review that will help you make up your mind whether this powder rack is for you. If you want to be able to use a lot of different attachments, then this rack isn't for you. Sunny Health and Fitness. What you get out of the box is a rack itself, a sucky pull-up bar, a pair of decent J-cups, and a pair of safety spotter bars. You can purchase additional J-cups, barbell holders that are sold in pairs, a landmine attachment that fits inside the barbell holder, dip bars, a U-ring you can use to attach whatever you need it to, and of course the lat attachment with the high and low pulley. I decided the lat attachment, an additional pair of J-cups, the landmine attachment, a pair of barbell holders, and the dip bars were the only things I needed for my program. I opted for the more expensive lat attachment rather than the pulley because I wanted more stability for the cage. As much as I like the power cage, I absolutely hate the pull-up bar. The paint on it is so slippery. It doesn't use the same powder coating as the uprights. I like that there's different positions to do my pull-ups, but without gloves or a very strong grip, you'll be forced to constantly adjust your grip. At first, I tried looking at it in a positive light. It'll make me develop my grip strength, but after a few months, I just found it annoying to do pull-ups with. There you have it. If you're on a budget, I recommend checking out this model of Sunny Health and Fitness's Power Cage lineup. It's easy to put together, it's compact for a full cage, and it's priced very competitively. It's perfect for someone like me who can live without all the frills and extra attachments. If you're someone who prefers function over form, then check out my links in the description. Thank you for watching and have a good one.